and today I'm here with the winners of Cake Wars on the Food Network, yeah, yes. Jared and Steven, Hi guys. from the Showboy Bake Shop, backed by popular demand. Yes, we demanded that we come back. Yes, it has to and they're here. <laughs> today we are going to be making the Goody Goody Gobble Cookie Turkey Kit. Which is so cute. It's I just so cute. I can't even wait to do this. We're going to be making this kit three different ways, and we're also going to be giving away prizes. We have with us... What? Yes. My beautiful work wife, Olivia, who's manning the prize corner. Olivia, what are we going to win today? So, we have our first ever um, bake show, and you can win five different mystery, oh, four different mystery prizes under these bowls. You can win some Foodster swag apparel. Don't worry, guys. We have shirts for you, too. Real Men Bake Shirts. You can also win one of our mixed trios, which has our vanilla cake mix, our chocolate chip mix, and our brownie mix. You can also win the kit that they're going to be making today, our turkey kit, just in time for Thanksgiving. And if you're really lucky, you will win a KitchenAid mixer in a festive fun color. Woo! Yeah. You guys, you're getting like really good with this. I love <laughs> the prizes are amazing. Yes. Yeah, those are good prizes. Can we enter? Um, you I guys know. actually cannot. Okay. You have all of the equipment necessary. <laughs> That's true. So you guys just won there. Cake Wars, so I'm expecting yeah. some things out of you today. So let's get started. All right. Okay. okay, so I'm going to start by whisking this egg slowly in this bowl. Um, previously, we asked Olivia if she could crack an egg with one hand, and she cracked it onto the floor. So <laughs> We're all just avoiding this egg yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. So it's just one egg. So it's one egg, and then I'm going to add 12 tablespoons of softened and cubed butter. I like okay. that you've cubed it. I feel like it just makes it a little easier to mix. I agree. Kind of a, kind Completely. Of That's something that Ina Garten taught me, one of my oh. inspirational food role models. Nice. I love a food role model. <laughs> so we're going to whisk this up. Okay. Easy enough. Easy enough. Get it nice and creamy. And then we're going to slowly add the dry mix. All of our mixes are organic and non-GMO, which is pretty exciting. That's that is awesome, cool. Yeah. I think that that's what the people like right now. And I like also that if you go over to the Foodsters website, um, foodsters.com, you can also find the vegan options, which is pretty cool. Yes. Great. You can make any of our mixes vegan by adding flax eggs, non-dairy um, non butter. It's very easy. We have a lot of recipes that are vegan on the Foodsters recipe website if you want to check that out. And it also tastes great. That's one of the things I love, that you mm -hmm. can add those substitutions and it still be really mm -hmm. delicious. That's yes. my number one thing with Foodsters, because mm -hmm. I don't necessarily look for the organic vegan mm -hmm. thing. So just that it tastes great, and that's an added bonus that it is organic and Absolutely. not yes. horrible. Mm -hmm. Completely. So, okay, so the dough's gonna come together into a ball, and then after that, we're gonna wrap it in plastic and chill it in the fridge. Ooh. So, you know what, while our dough is chilling, why don't we do a giveaway? What do you guys think? I would love that. Should we do a giveaway? I'm super excited yes. for it. So in the spirit of Thanksgiving, our first question is going to be, what are male turkeys called? The first person to comment with the right answer, and which bowl they would like Olivia to choose for them is, so is going to be our winner. And I will be no help to any of you because I don't know the answer to that question. So we're going to be learning as we go. So. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a learning process. So, so please a comment. Was a yes. <laughs> All right. So, okay, so our dough is chilled. chilled. The next thing we're going to do is roll it out. How long would you normally chill it in the refrigerator? So usually I chill it for about twenty minutes. Okay. And in order, like, if you want to do it really fast, I throw it in the freezer. And oh, if you, okay. yeah, as long as you don't forget about it in there, because I love a kitchen hack. <laughs> my next kitchen hack is that I like to use powdered sugar to flour the surface and my dough because I think it adds a little bit of a sweetness to the dough versus Ooh. using just flour. So I like to do that. That's really clever. And then you always want to flour the top as well. Um, that way, the first go around with the rolling pin doesn't stick to everything that you're about to do. Yes, exactly. And this is a great activity to do in the kitchen with kids. I was a nanny in Minneapolis for four years. And oh, really? baking, yes. Do I look like a nanny? I'm just a little Mary Poppins. Right, you are. <laughs> well, you know, you perfect. guys, it looks like we have a winner already for Woo! the first giveaway. Oh, wow. Alrighty, so let's find out what the answer who was and who won. Alright, it looks like we have Marcus! Marcus. Marcus a Tom! Good girl. job, Marcus! Okay, that's right, Marcus. Yeah. So, now does Marcus get to pick a mole? 
Yes, Marcus has to pick a bowl. Whichever bowl he chooses, I'll lift it up, and whatever prize is underneath is what he wins. All right, Marcus. So Marcus, Let's write it. Find out. Hope. Okay, while we're waiting for Marcus to pick a bowl, we're gonna go ahead and continue to roll out the sugar cookie dough. Another thing that I like with the sugar cookies is you can make them as thick or as thin as you like. Yes. And it just comes yeah. down to the baking times as to um, really how you like that cook. Yeah. Right, like I if like you mine like thick. Yeah, I was gonna a little say softer in if the you center. like a soft cookie, you're gonna want it thicker. If you like a thin, crisp cookie, like my sister Joanna. Joanna, I know you're watching. Hi Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the the crispy hard cookie. Mm -hmm. So those it's are like the things you and the soft, full <laughs> cookie, and the thin crisp. Oh, thank oh. you. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the dough is rolled. Now we're going to cut the, co the cookies out. All righty. Do we okay, have Marcus. a bowl? Marcus. Okay, Marcus has picked a bowl. Okay, He's which bowl did he pick? The middle one. Okay. He's the middle. That's Lift number that two. Okay. Bowl. Here we go. Lift that bowl. Lift. Oh, we're not doing that. What did he get? Marcus won. Some yeah, food oh, really? yeah. So exciting, you get a real men bake shirt. Um, mark us right into info at foodsters.com with your shipping address and what size shirt you would like, and we will get that to you right away. Woo! Oh, Thanks for playing. Marcus. The real men bake shirt is actually one of my favorites. I got a lot of compliments wearing that I last know, time yeah. we were here. Yes. So we wear them at our shop. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay, so once we've cut the cookies, um, yes. we're going to put them onto the baking pan. Yes, they're going to go in the oven for um, about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And then they're going to look like these beauties right here. And I actually find, so a lot of times if I cut the cookies out, I'll put the tray of cookies in the freezer for maybe 5 to 10 minutes. Okay. Just to re-kind of harden the cookies. Mm -hmm. And that way I find, especially if you're doing a cutout, it keeps the shape a lot better. That's it so does, yeah. yeah. And it also stops them, it gives them that nice top, you know, no exactly. cracks. Exactly. Especially if you're going to put the frosting on them. Yes. So you would do that... Before you put them in the oven, you'd put them yes, in the freezer. Yes, I put okay. them in the freezer for about five to ten minutes cool. before the oven. Give Which time for the time oven to freeze. Three twinsies. I'm telling you. Great <laughs> minds think alike. All right, so it's time to decorate. Everybody, take a cookie. All right. This, this one is my favorite. Fine. That one looks like a good Perfect. one for me. So all of these kits are made, and they're so easy to do with kids. Like you can do this to entertain children at a kids table for Thanksgiving, perhaps. Or maybe you want to make these to impress in-laws if you're ho hosting oh, your first Thanksgiving. That's, that's pretty hard to do. That's always hard. It really one. is, yeah. So, um, and this is nice too that it's interactive with maybe people that you've invited over that you don't necessarily know that well right. either. It gives you something mm -hmm. to talk about. A little icebreaker. You yeah. can also keep the children occupied at the kids' table, you <laughs> right. know? Just, yeah. just give them a the the and... Such a fun activity. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so now we're going to make the feathers for the turkey. Okay, so, I'm gonna follow along to the guides because I like a visual guide. Yeah, and He's you know, nice everybody can decorate their cookie in their own way. It's super easy to do. I like these colors too. They scream fall and they scream. They and also they're natural. Yes, is, all of the yeah, colors that we use, so cool. all of the dyes are all natural. But if you can't find all natural dyes, you can also use different herbs. Like if you use turmeric or carrot juice, you can dye frosting orange. I like that. You can also use um, beet juice to dye frosting red. Beet juice is a totally popular yeah. one. I've never heard the carrot juice. That's really cool. Yeah, it, like it works too. Very, very clever. So, this is way too fun right now. I know. I'm Should we do get another giveaway while we're decorating? I don't see why not. Okay. Okay, so, wait, so we need another question. What is a good question okay, so for giveaway Okay, so the next question is going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh-oh. Um, so I want you guys to all go to the Foodsters Turkey Goody Goody Gobble kit goody goody gobble. page on the Foodsters website. <laughs> it's just website. fun to say, isn't it? It really <laughs> is. And a little bit hard, actually. <laughs> yeah. So they're going to... They're going to the Goody Goody Gobble Turkey Cookie page on the Foodsters website. Cool. The first person to tell me what kind of sugar we use in the Sweet Tooth Cookie Mix is going Ooh. to win another prize with Olivia. Yeah, so, that's ready? A hard one. It is hard. This is oh, a harder yeah. one, but I have faith in you guys. You have to do your homework on this one, guys. You have to do your... It's like a little scavenger hunt. Some you need people, to go to the website. Yeah. Some people might already know, though. And find out what kind of sugar no, we that. have. All right. What are the answers? Are we getting answers? Alrighty. Look where I'm that at so, so far. Good. I went way too. Oh, um, you did. I went a little individual ones. Like yeah, on see, you, you can do it I any did it way a you want. Bit different. Is everybody's Thanksgiving? I like yours. Is their own? I think we, what kind do of Thanksgiving do you guys have? What are your traditions that you oh, have for Thanksgiving? Oh, Hannah. Hannah. Hannah Marie. Hannah. Is that correct? Biodynamic Bio cane, cane sugar. sugar. Hannah Marie, Hannah, you are absolutely you are on correct. Top of this. You got this. Okay. Olivia. 
Good for you. Hannah's gonna tell me what bowl she wants. Yes, Hannah. <laughs> what Hannah, bowl what bowl? Would you like, right? Olivia to flip over. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling number. I don't know. We change the cards each time. So oh man. Come on, okay. Hannah. You can Hannah, do it. Hannah's too. thinking. She's got. We've got a woohoo oh, from we got her. Some, so. Woohoo. We, we need some dots. We need some dots <laughs> to know that she's coming at us with an answer. Okay. So. Okay. Now I'm gonna add the brown. Yes. Which is what gives you the cool little turkey body in the, the middle body. there. Yes. So I have the brown done on mine already, a little swirl. You're way ahead of us. You're much more Yes, I, I, you know, it. I did go to culinary school. <laughs> wow. um, so I'm gonna do the little eyes. So in the turkey cookie kit, oh, oh. you get a little piping tip, which is such a great addition to the kit. It really helps you perfect your designs, but some people, like to bake that's and they don't good. have the tips. You know, so, that's another thing I like about the kit is I feel like all the little tips and spatulas and tools that come in it, you can just keep one of these boxes, keep it all in there as you go. That's why the Baker's Club is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then you I have like a little Baker's Club. toolkit basically to go mm -hmm. every time you're gonna decorate something. Okay, back to Hannah. Hannah has chosen bowl number four. Unfortunately, oh. we only have three bowls. We only have three. It's so, hard to get overwhelmed. You've got a lot of prizes. We do. So, how about bowl number three? Three, Hannah? Will that work for Hannah? I don't know. I want Hannah to confirm what. <laughs> let, 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 I want to make sure I'm giving okay. Hannah the bowl that she really is passionate about here. I, I don't blame so, you. That's probably why. I don't want to screw her up. Okay. okay. So why are we waiting for oh, Hannah? Let's Hannah. add some eyes. Did you do that? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I added the eyes and the little legs. Okay, Hannah has chosen bowl number three. Okay, Hannah. Nice choice. Let's see what's underneath. Oh, Hannah has oh, one. It's upside down. A turkey Yay. cake. What Whoa. a perfect Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dessert. Oh All right, gosh. Hannah, write into um, info at foodsters.com with your shipping address, and we'll get that sent out to you right away. Thanks Yay, for playing. Hannah. Marcus, you, right Marcus here, did Hannah. the same thing. Dun, 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 dun. This is what you win. All this goody, goody, gobble goodness. Yeah. Okay, so while you guys are decorating, I'm going to show you how to make the frosting that you are decorating with. Perfect. Okay. And then I also have the color set right here too. So oh yeah, perfect. As we go. So all of our natural colors, let's switch out these beaters. Okay. What are That's your guys' so favorite great. Thanksgiving traditions? What do you guys do for Thanksgiving? Well, of course, we always make sure we watch the parade. Um, oh yeah. Because you have to catch up on your Broadway. That's um, my favorite part of Thanksgiving. Number one. Seeing the, what Broadway shows are performing at the Macy's mm -hmm. parade. And what are those... Um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. The like the line of the rock the heads. The rock heads. Oh, world wow, famous radio that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I'm on camera, you guys. I'm forgetting stuff. <laughs> no, All right. Forget the rock heads. It's an American tradition. So in this bowl for the frosting. Lost the cookie. We oh, oh dear. We, oh no. no we I mean, I'm gonna basically blame that on Olivia <laughs> over there. <laughs> She's the only She's person. <laughs> no, but I want to point out this incredible sign before we lose another cookie. Um, what a fun around. DIY project. A little thankful sugar cookie sign brought to us by the show boys. We lost, we lost the last letter, but we're, we're still thankful. We're still they're going to show us how to do that after yeah. we make this cake. You know what, so when it pops tuned. like that, that just means it's ready to eat. Yeah, so, exactly. perfect. <laughs> there you go. It's like an oven timer, but for your already cooked cookies. All right, okay, so, so for this frosting, we we've got three tablespoons softened butter okay. and two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. We Which use, is what gives it that amazing Yes, flavor. I was going to say, Greek the Greek is yogurt is really the game changer key. in this frosting. Holy mm -hmm. key. And then we add our powdered sugar. Beautiful. Da, 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 da. And again, this is all in the kit. So if all everything is thing. labeled, you'll be able to find everything easily. And um, it's all six steps or less. It's amazing. Yes, all of our stuff, six steps or less. Pinterest worthy projects. Absolutely I mean, Pinterest worthy. and the stuff that you guys are gonna show us, I, I'm really impressed, you guys. I'm I mean, excited. you did win Cake Wars, so we did just we did just win Cake Wars, you guys. It was pretty if, yeah, exciting. Day. That was just on Monday, so we're here. Um, Fresh like a little win, a little victory, <laughs> um, victory celebration session. with food stars. And how did you guys start place. baking? So you know, like, how did you start? Oh, what was, what does your interest start? Where well, did that start? Well, what's funny about our story is that we actually started as showboys in Vegas. We were dancing in the big production shows, the top hats and tails, and we basically just brought. Um, cookies and treats to all of the cast parties, the potlucks. Oh, that's um, such a good idea. Vegas is a funny town because you don't have, um, you know, your family there. Most people have moved there to do shows or what, what their job is. So kind of everyone gets together for the holidays and they're their own little, you know, new family. So it all kind of came from there. People were like, you know, showboy cake, showboy cookies. And so when we decided yeah. to open the shop, we just 
We were like the brand. Yeah, the brand. Yeah, yeah, the brand just it already branded itself. There. So. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Opening yeah. a business is hard. So it is hard. It's hard. To, to go rewarding. from there and then win Cake Wars, that's really something. Yeah. Well, thank you so Pretty much. Pretty So you know what? We're going to do a Showboys themed giveaway right now. Oh, okay. You know? Okay. So oh, I feel so honored. If you've, if you've been paying attention, you should know the answer to this question right away. Where is the Showboy Bake Shop located? Mm -hmm. What city? I know the answer to that one. I know the one. answer too. It's the one question I know the answer to. <laughs> so far, so far. We still so have more questions for you guys. Yes. All right. Okay, okay. so let's I see. I will monitor. Let's see. These guys are on top of the questions. Okay, yes. let's know. All right, so you know what? Let's. Who's. We got an A. We got a Yeah Show Boy on there. Oh, Yeah, yeah. Show Boy, yes. Little, show we love boys. a little shout out. That's always fun. Um, so do you want to show us how to make your version now? Absolutely. First of all, just so you guys know for the coloring of the frosting um, for the turkey kit, um, we have basically set up each color in the um, in the little bowls here. Mm -hmm. um, that way we can just add a little bit of the white to each bowl yeah. and then we can just stir it. Should we just Let's do that do real it. fast? While you guys are stirring those, yes. we do have another winner. Oh. Christy Landry, Christy. Henderson, Nevada. We are what? in Henderson, Nevada. And actually, Is she one of your customers? Vegas. Wait, I thought for a second she was from Henderson. That would have been so neat. That would be cool. Okay, but yes, we are yeah. in Henderson. Las Vegas, if you want. Henderson, Nevada, and Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Actually, we are. We're in, we're in both both cities, right? Either and you traveled here for each Facebook Live, which thank you so much. That was oh, so yeah, nice of so you. Fun. We, we know, which is why we guys. always give our little staff a shout out here, and hold I'm the fort down while we're gone. So thank you, everybody you. at Showway Bake Shop today for holding down the fort while we're here Have playing fun. with cakes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so did we get an answer on the bowl? Yeah. Way? Yes, Christy which Landry bowl would you like, Christy from Landry? From New Orleans. She's from New Orleans? Oh, God, yeah, love that. Love Can that. you get food stores in Scotland? I'm sorry, we can't get food stores in stores in Scotland, but you can order online. Yeah, yeah I can can always, online. yeah, you can always go to foodstores.com. Oh, not in Scotland yet. No? Not, no, not in Scotland yet, but we'll see where that goes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're still waiting. We're for still Christy. waiting for the pick for Christy one, one, pick a three. bowl. One, two, or three. Okay, okay. so then so here you can choice. see everything is nice and colored. Yeah, if you if you are looking to buy food stores, you can find us in Whole Foods. Yes, on, that the, east east, on the east coast. You can and buy us in Gelson's on the West Coast, and we're California. also in Fresh Markets now oh, I like that. in the That's Southeast. Cool. And That's you guys, awesome. if you are tuning in from Vegas, if you are regulars at our store, we also have the kits and then some of the awesome, um, you know, the, the sweet tooth and the chocolate chippy, and we have some of that as well. So if you are looking for anything in Vegas, just hit us up and we'll make sure we get it to you guys, okay? And if you're awesome. ever in doubt, always go to foodstores.com. You can buy us. Easy, easy. Yes. And you can buy the t-shirts and the Yeah, pieces, all the cool stuff. And, and Christy there. picked bowl number two. Ooh, bowl, bowl number two. two. Good, good choice for Bowl number two is popular. Bowl number two. Okay, bowl number two restocked has won another Ooh. turkey Ooh. cookie Ooh. kit. So exciting. Right. Now you don't even have to make Thanksgiving desserts. Right? We got to cover it up for well, you. Well, you do still have to make it, though. Right. Should we uh, right? Okay. It's all to you. Okay. <laughs> you don't get to miss out on the fun. Sorry. Should we show Christy another way to make the sugar cookie kit in case yes, she wants absolutely. to do it a different way? Okay. So one thing that we love about the Foosters kits as they come each month is that we get to do it the way that it is um, created for, but then also when we have time at the shop, which we call Foosters and Chill, <laughs> it's our downtime, we actually make variations on it. So using all the same products that are inside the box, we get to turn them into a showboy version, if you will. So we kind of, you know, do a little... A little yeah. fun, a little zhuzh, and I also like some that. glitter. We can't have all I know, so we have oh, to add a little glitter. And this time, we have come up with a delightful turkey platter that you can bring over. If you're invited to a Thanksgiving dinner, you can bring this with you as a gift to the host. Mm -hmm. What a always, great centerpiece Always bring well. something with you when you're Which invited. Which is why we thought it would be kind of fun to do two different things with the kit. We have um, the platter that you can actually bring to a party that you've been invited to or a dinner you've been invited to. Mm -hmm. But then also the cookie banner we thought would be a good option if you are actually hosting Thanksgiving and you want a little treat that you can have everybody talking about, excited about, they can have this after dinner, or if the L pops off like that, you can have it before dinner. Um, <laughs> whichever you want to lots do. Lots of options. <laughs> okay, so for this particular version, um, it, basically we do the same Super thing easy. from step number one. We mix our sugar cookie dough, and then we're gonna roll it out nice and flat, and we're gonna cut out a triangle, which as you can see here, 
Jared has the one that we made earlier. You don't even need a cutter for that. I was going to say, you no. can probably freeform cut the triangle. You can just freeform that. that. You can do that without a cutter. But then for the actual turkey's feathers, we actually used um, just a nice... A little scalloped edge. A little edge scalloped circle, edge, one yeah. like this, just to give it that little more feathery texture, a little feathery look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and again, these kind of things you can buy at any craft store. They have all kinds of cutters and fun stuff like that to um, actually use within your kit, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, once everything's out of the oven and it's all cooled, always make sure the cookies are cool. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put the icing on and then you work so hard at making it pretty and it all turns into cookie soup. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then also don't forget um, with the, all this fun stuff that, that everything is organic and vegan. Everything is organic. So if you wanted it's to make a, a vegan plus. cookie platter, you could make a vegan cookie platter with flax eggs and earth mm -hmm. films. Mm -hmm. like There's so many different options to turn everything um, you know, vegan, um, if you need, if you have certain allergies, and you can always um, hit us up too and ask questions if there's anything like that that you want to find out where you can find certain things to change it. Yeah, up. and a lot of those questions are even answered already at foodsters.com. So right. just head on over there and see. And it's always nice to be inclusive of, of people too. If you are bringing this, bring it as the vegan option. So mm -hmm. yes. there's a vegan guest or two in the and group. Everybody gets everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And vegan and desserts are good. delicious. They, they, they really along. are. They, I think it's just evolved so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's so many options and delicious options, yes. um, such as foodsters. So, <laughs> okay, so for the feathers, yes. these look very fancy. Did you guys use a special tip? We I certainly see. did. Okay. okay. So for these special feathers, I'm using tip 104, which is actually what we would use to create a rose, a sugar rose. Um, in this situation, I'm going to pipe it, and I prepared all the bags already just so they're good to go. And then actually, um, we had a couple of cool um, life hacks or kitchen, kitchen hacks. hacks. So, you know, Sarah Michelle had mentioned previously about your uh, pastry bags. You can put them over a glass to fill it. Um, but we also want to let you know if you're in a pinch and you're trying to get your frosting in the bag right away, you can even just put it over your hand like this. And then you can fill the bag from the inside here with Plus your spatula. Mess just like this. It's, you know, super easy. You can pull it up. And then don't forget Sarah Michelle's number one tip. Don't get the end all dirty because it all falls out <laughs> the end. Okay. Right? <laughs> Keep it in the bag, please. All right, so here we go. Basically what we're going to do for this, and this will be upside down, I apologize. We're going to just pipe what you would think look like little petals. So, and you make them as fluffy as you can. That way you get that nice oh. feathered look. And I just do half the cookie because you don't need to do the whole thing, but I do fill in the middle because what you're going to want to do if you're traveling with this um, to a party is you want the cookies to actually stick together, which is a really important part of getting it to your venue without it falling apart. Right, so they kind of got to overlap each other. Exactly. So okay. we basically are going to do five of these, and I'll just do this really fast for you guys so that you don't have to... Oh, that looks so pretty. While you're doing that... Laura Viotti, for, um, she wants to know what vegan desserts are. So vegan desserts are just desserts made without dairy or animal products. Mm -hmm. So the flax egg is non-dairy, and then you use the Earth Balance for non-dairy. Can you guys think of any other options? The Earth Balance is actually a really funny little um, product because it tastes just like butter. It does. I really yeah. like Earth it's Balance really, a lot. It's really nice. And then, of course, um, you know, a lot of people want... It to be delicious so you can still use your same you know natural flavors your vanilla bean stuff like that mm -hmm. um, and it all is vegan so yeah. that's perfect vegan right. doesn't mean flavorless anymore it no. doesn't no you're so right okay so once you've done this you want to get these onto your platter which we have right here oh yeah you can do a, a nice platter that you get from a craft store or just a plate that you have at home yourself and then i put down just a little frosting oh, for each that. one that way as you place the cookie down you know it's not going to shift anywhere as you're in transit. But then of course this is, doesn't just have to be because you're going somewhere, you can just make this for yourself at home. You can also um, make this for people that are coming to you, so it doesn't just have to be, you know, the gift that you're giving. Yeah. And well, can I answer one of the questions that yes. I see, because this is an important one for me? Caitlin Ben says, how do these taste versus regular cookies? which I love my regular cookies. Can we find I out love, right? Oh. <laughs> I love these Booster's cookies. They are just as good as regular cookies. Yeah, and when you say regular cookies, I mean, so we have such good products inside. The sugar is biodynamic. Everything is 
organic mm -hmm. and non-GMO. And we're also the first full gluten organic baking line on the marketplace. That's so, so important right now. It's you know, important. it's really kind of every. I feel like everybody is pleased with this it because is. you can. If it's, you're a vegan, yeah. you can make it vegan. It's such a an lot of people. Gluten product. is a hot topic for a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. So if you like gluten. But yeah. not just that, you guys, don't forget, also, it comes straight to your front door. Oh, right? my gosh, How the baker's is kit that? Or, or, or any of the kits online, it gets delivered straight to your front door. Um, so, and it takes basically the stress out of shopping for all the things that you need. You could look up a cake recipe that you want to bake, and you need so many products that you probably won't use again. Mm -hmm. This way, it's all in the box or in your fridge already. Six steps, like limited ingredients that you need to add to it, and in a cute little box. And everything, box. yes, and I, th I think a lot of times with baking, people, at least I get stressed out about measuring everything. Yeah. And with this, all of the dry mixes, all of your dry ingredients are measured. You don't have to worry it's about true. putting in too much baking soda. Right, you it's guys just, have made it so easy. Yes. Like okay. it's, so it's hard to mess this up. It yes. really is. <laughs> okay. okay, so while you're finishing this, I think we should do another Thanksgiving theme yeah. giveaway. Oh, yes, yes, let's do it. Okay. And then I will finish up the face of the turkey giveaway. What's the question? Okay, so the question is, the first person to comment with the correct answer and which bowl they would like. Two or three. One, two, or three. <laughs> no, four. Which president was the oh. president who made Thanksgiving a traditional holiday? I don't know that one either. It's like a full history lesson. It really yeah, is. Good. Um, I like it. Okay, I'll give you a hint. He was a very tall man. Oh, it wasn't me. Oh, it wasn't. It was not me. It wasn't. Sorry. Sorry. So, yes. try. <laughs> so, first person to comment. So, which president made Thanksgiving a national holiday? Not like in recent that. history. Okay, so then what I've done here, you guys, Perfect. too, is I've given the actual um, top you know the of answer. the turkey cookie here just a little oh. feathered look. <gasps> Exactly similar to how we did, just with a smaller tip. And I can give you all of that information also if you need it. Okay, we have a winner. Oh. Lindsay Huspin. I'm Lindsay. so sorry if I butchered your last name. You are the winner. Which bowl would you I think she already like? picked. So oh. No, did she? did she? No, she did not. Sorry. Not yet. So okay, we're just waiting on. on a number, and then we can get Lindsay. Lindsay, which one would you like? Which bowl? Lindsay A. Huspin. One, two, or three, Lindsay. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna give it some like. Fun oh, you've already got to the to the turkey. You're the, tur body. the turkey part right now. Oh yeah, I'm giving it some fun googly eyes. I think that will be fun. I love it. You know, I love a googly eye. Okay, I Lindsay. Know, especially for a Lindsay turkey. has chosen bowl three, Olivia. Okay, but first I need to know who this president was because I still don't know. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, we didn't say the answer. Did we? <laughs> I look. I literally looked at the this answer and was like, oh, that's the correct answer. This is right. so live. It's not even. <laughs> you guys are reading <laughs> along, right? <laughs> Let's all teach Olivia because Olivia did not know right. who Vanna White was either. So we told her she was fabulous. She is, That's she's she's deep in mill territory. She's Hash, on the millennial. So Vanna White is on, <laughs> Vanna White is on Wheel of Fortune, and the president who made Thanksgiving a holiday is. Our favorite Abraham Lincoln. Yay! I, I know him. Yeah. You do. <laughs> yeah. You know him personally. Right. Yeah. She knows him personally. Okay, bowl number three. Bowl number three. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, <gasps> Fooster swag. Yeah. Woo, baby. I love you can get that. this expression. You can get sugarcoat everything. I love sugarcoat. Like yeah. Please let us know which thing you prefer in your emails at info at foodsters.com as well as your size and address, and we will get that to you right away. Yay. Awesome. Congratulations. Congrats. There's so many cool prizes being given away so today. I love no. it. Okay, you guys. So while we were having fun with our history lesson, <laughs> we finished up our turkey, um, which looks just like this here. And you can make so them cute. as fun and festive as you like. Um, you know, make it nice glitter. and fall colors. Glitter. Of glitter. Of course. Yeah, That's, you can always um, add your own little spin. So yeah, is this culinary fun. glitter? Edible glitter? It sure yeah. is, oh, yes. Yeah. And we actually use the ones that have um, no added color to them, so they just sparkle, which we mm. love. Yeah, so okay. all you need is a little sparkle. So we have a platter, and now Beautiful. we're going to make... Time for a banner. A banner. I Banners are pretty in. Banners are in, but also what I like about the idea for the banner is that it's not only um, culinary related, but it's also craft related. Yes. It is. So I feel like there's a little crafty. bit of fun there for, you know, if you're you know, an avid baker or if you're just a crafter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this would be something super cute to have to welcome your guests over. Yes. You have it's a, a great backdrop. Banner. It's a great backdrop. I like that. It'd be a fun little talk, you know, like a focal point, a talking point. Mm -hmm. And then of course you get to eat at the end. Um, everyone exactly. can indulge. 
you know, I mean, of course, they'll be pumpkin pie. Sure. Given, right? And you can write across there whatever you want, too. We decided to write thankful on ours. Yeah, you can thankful. do anything um, that you yeah, like. Yeah, you really can do whatever you like. So the fun thing here is just like um, Aubrey had done at the beginning and with the second version was roll out your sugar cookies um, to the uh, the size that you want, and then you can again freehand these ones, um, you know, with a knife or a, you know whatever you right. want to use. Create a, a little spatula. spatula, and then we actually have another um, kitchen hack for you guys, Ooh. which I know again are Sarah Michelle's favorites. Yes. So, what we used for this here is actually a piping tip because we needed um, holes in this that were small enough uh, to not actually break the cookie apart. That's so as you can idea. see, and you want to do this here actually before you bake it. So as you can see right here, you just pop it right into the sugar dough and then take it out. Do that before you bake it so that you can get the holes in. Once it's baked, they will be a little soft after the oven, but it's just better to get it done. Yeah, and you don't want to crack the cookie afterwards. Okay, so the fun part here is we're going to actually flood the cookie in one um, go like this. And then what we did, once we got this on, again, we're using the piping tips. If you guys need to know um, the size or anything, just let us know. But usually it's within the kit. Mm -hmm. And then we're actually and this is the Fooster's frosting. This is, again, the Fooster's frosting. So you know that this cookie is going to be delicious, whether you eat it before dinner or after dinner. <laughs> or during. <laughs> right. So then from here, that. we're going to take some of our fall sprinkles. This just gives the banner a nice little edge to it. Fall leaves. The right. fall leaves, I know they're so fun, huh? And then you can just tap off the excess like this. So then you've got your little, let's add a couple more here. I love it. Nice little border. And then you can just fill the middle with the frosting here. That way it's completely covered. And then you have your options to keep it nice and um, kind of earthy looking like that. A little you fluffy can just feel. Take, exactly, a knife or a spatula. And you can just smooth out the middle because we are actually going to write on these as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's pretty. And a lot of times I also put like in between frosting layers, the cookies in the freezer too, to firm the frosting up, good just idea. to not like mush so them all together. Yeah, so they don't like bleed. Yeah, and that's also another that's good, good trick. Too. If you're gonna do that, if you're gonna put them in the fridge before you write on them, that way when you start to write on them, you won't get any drag from the white going through whatever color you choose to write yeah. on them. Gives and you a so would you, do you string these after you decorate them? Yes, string okay. them afterwards. That way, um, after once they're all dry. Decorated, once okay. they're dry. And you can leave these for a few hours just for the frosting to get like a little edge on it. That way, once you hang them, they'll be absolutely perfect. As you can see from our version over here by Olivia, she's presenting it. <laughs> Hopefully Olivia. she won't break another cookie. I see you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too, Too long. Alrighty. All right. Okay. So let well, me change these tips. Do yeah. We have any while more you change, yeah. While you change the tips, you mentioned Sarah Michelle, and so I think we should have maybe a, a Sarah, Sarah question. Michelle question. Good what idea. Do you think? I yeah. like that. I like that. So for all the Buffy fans out there, there's a few. There's uh, a few. A few. <laughs> okay. So in Sarah Michelle's famous Buffy speech, which baked item did she compare herself to? Ooh, that's this a good is a one. very specific item. That's a good so question. So all the fans Ooh, out is. there. Okay, Come on. let's see. We know that one knows the answer to this. Represent that one your actually queen. might know the answer to. Do you really? Do you I really? So. I think yeah, so. Yeah. I mean, okay, so if nobody comments I within 30 seconds, we're going to give it to him. <laughs> I know what he's going to pick. Take your time. Just, yeah. just take your time. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, you're... Are, are all right. So while we have we're some waiting, answers yes. coming. We do have some. Are any of them correct? None of none of them are correct yet. It's got to be very specific. All right, so <laughs> what I'll show you guys now is actually the writing that we're going to put. And as obviously, as you can imagine, this entire banner will be fully done. Um, but here we go. Oh, right. oh we have an answer. We have a winner. Sarah, 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 Harvey. Harvey. Sarah Harvey from Wisconsin. Yay. Awesome. Okay, so you have won something that is under one of the bowls that you choose. Well, let's find out. So the question was... Oh, yeah. Oh, we keep oh. giving you the answer. <laughs> the question yeah. was, in um, Sarah Michelle's famous Buffy speech, what baked item, what baked good did she compare herself to? And the answer, of course, is... Cookie dough! Cookie dough! Chocolate chip cookie dough? I'm not sure if she specified the type of cookie dough. I'm just we'll making this her. competition harder. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You're getting too Sarah, specific now. Sarah, my love, which bowl... Do you choose? Sarah has picked. She's bowl picked bowl number, number one. Bowl number one. Finally. Okay. Woo! Oh, God, the shirts. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is live TV, people. Okay. Right. Bowl number one. Let's see what it is. I've been waiting for Sarah, you have won the first mixed trio of the
the day. Oh, yeah. So amazing. exciting. We will be receiving this mixed trio with our fan favorite mixes. Just email info at foodsters.com with your address and we will get that sent to you. Yay. Oh my gosh, amazing. I'm so excited for Sarah. And for anyone that hasn't tried the chocolate chippy cookie mix yet, it is so It's good. amazing. That's it's probably my favorite. It really is. So too. It's, it's so salty. Like, it's so it's, good. It is it's so it's salty. Yes. But it has the correct amount of salt to just balance out the sweetness. Absolutely. It's so good. So I was going to say that. I love that like, yeah. okay, well, like, I mean, a Sarah won the Sarah question. I really like that too. I Yeah. That was good. Mm -hmm. Good okay. timing. So <laughs> now that we have actually got one of our cookies decorated and ready for the writing, we keep it very simple. We're going to take two different colors with the same tip. Um, this way, excuse me, uh, this way you can put writing, you can overlay it so it gives it like a little 3D effect. So in this case, I'm going to go with the T. And the reason I'm going with the T is because it's upside down. Yeah. I think that's the easiest one to do upside down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take the second color and just place it over the top. Turns out I'm not quite as upside down as I thought I could be. But anyway, okay. you get the <laughs> you get the, yeah, the, the idea. idea. So then once you've got it on here, you can take any kind of um, string or rope, whatever you think is nice and festive and Thanksgiving. Um, in this case, we just took a nice white rope, again, any yeah. craft store. Very natural looking. Very natural looking, exactly. I think it gives it that nice organic look. Mm -hmm. And then you just thread it through into your cookie. So you're gonna go through one of the holes that you had already pre-cut with your tip and then you pop it through the other one. And if, like me, you frost it over it, <laughs> you, <laughs> right, can, you gotta find it. You can find it. You can use um, any kind of kitchen tool. Look at my left right. kitchen hacks over here. Do we have something? That wouldn't work? No, but it's all good. You get the idea. You put it right through the other hole, and then that way you can hang your thankful banner, which we actually have just over here. Um, Olivia will display it for everyone once again for the fun <laughs> time. Oh my god. I was saying I love this. I want to bring it home. It's and it really is very cute. cute. My apartment could use some decorations, you know? We can all eat this after. Right. It's, it's, right right it's, it. it's so awesome that you can do so many things with one kit. Absolutely. So all of these yeah. turkey kits you can buy online and you can buy our products, all of our mixes at Foodsters.com. Foodsters.com. You can yeah, also find us at Whole Foods on the West Coast. And when you're on Foodsters.com, oh. excuse me, sorry. Yes, there um, are two other places that you can find Foodsters in stores. Okay, go All for right. it. Gelson's. Gelson's. And what's the new one? South? They're in Whole yeah. Foods on the East Coast. Whole Foods on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. We're Gelson's in Fresh Market here. in the Southeast. Fresh Market in the And Whole Southeast. Foods in the Northeast. And Shop We Bake Shop if you're in Vegas or Henderson. Right. We got you covered in yes. Vegas, yeah. always. And also what's fun about these kits is, as you may have seen from our last Facebook Live, if you don't quite get to use it for the holiday, um, you can always hit up um, us and ask us how to turn it into a different holiday kit. Right? Yes. Yeah, it's never that. too late to use the kit. We basically yeah, don't, we don't get any around sugar here. around here. No, <laughs> no, definitely not. Cool. Love it. Alrighty, so what else do we have left, you guys? I think I think we're wrapped up here, you guys. This looks great. Do we I'm, know. We have so one, one, one. I think we should do one more giveaway. All right, that let's way do we one more giveaway. It's only fair. Okay. Is this the mixer? This is this is they for another day. Oh, under the okay. Bowl. People just haven't chose. The I've been waiting for the mixer giveaway. I really want I the mixer to be chosen. Right. I really want someone so, to get, a, get the mixer. So let's ask the final question and find out who's going to win the last prize. What is the question? We have a question that is going to be featured from you guys. What question okay. would you like to ask? Oh, okay. The first person to name the four places that you can obtain the Foodsters brand and kits. Yes. Name the four locations. You can win the you final prize. to pick a bowl. And I think we even just said all four of them, didn't we? We did. We did. So so we did say all four of them. There are four places. Attention, it would be really four easy. places that you can get your Foodsters products and kits. Yeah, it's not you get to leave okay. Okay. okay, so we're going to say it one more time. Yes. There are four places to find Foodsters products. Mm -hmm. If you tell us all four of them, then you get to play the Bake Show Game Show with Olivia. I love bake the Bake Show, show Game Show. Bake Show Game Show. That's a tongue We need twister. a theme tune by next time. Okay. I know, yeah. <laughs> we'll have somebody write that. Okay. Faith was saying so. that it's too late to win. Faith, you still have time. There's you still have time. time. You have extra have time. Oh. Yes, Wendy. 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 With a really long last name. I'm sorry. She got all four. Wendy, what okay, so market? Let's go all, all four again. You can find us always online. Whole Foods on the West Coast. Oh, no. Whole Foods on the North, <laughs> in the, <laughs> the Northeast. Northeast. There's just so many locations. I know, I know. Fresh Market in the Southeast and Gelson's on the West Coast. 
Love it. I love it. Great okay, job. Okay, so now we just want to wait to find out the bowl. Out. In the meantime, you guys, don't forget that um, the kit is available now, um, and it's just the perfect gift for a gift or product for your Thanksgiving parties. Mm -hmm. So order it now, um, or you can go in and grab it from... Well, Showboy actually will have yeah. some of those kits for our guys. But make sure that you just um, tag us in all of your pictures. If you go online, yes. um, you can find Foodsters or Showboy at all our social media. Yeah. Hashtag Foodsters and Chill. Hashtag Foodsters and Chill. If you hashtag that, that's my favorite. <laughs> Alrighty, we looks have like a bowl, bowl number two. Okay. Bowl number two. Guys, I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> bowl number two. Okay, one. here we go. Wendy, <laughs> Wendy, 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 I love it. Wendy, this is so exciting for you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> it's mint. That's it's a mint color. It is just so cute. Please it's email so info at foodsters.com so we can get you your new KitchenAid hand mixer right away. All we need is your shipping address. Thanks for playing. Congratulations, Wendy. It's Yay, like the Wendy. most beautiful color. It's like your, your Foodsters mixer. It's like the perfect way to end color. the game. It really is. Yeah, yes. That was a good way to end it. And well, even? now you have three ways to yeah. make our Thanksgiving turkey kits. So... And I'm thankful for each one of them. I'm yeah. thankful for all of them as <laughs> And I'm well. thankful for you guys. It was so fun. Yes, oh, it was so crazy. good to see you guys oh, again. So and fun. we all have our holiday garden. Right, we're, we do. Yes. We're, all, we're all ready for the Thanksgiving. Well, everybody, and now you guys are too. Yeah. yeah. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll Thank see you. Yes, we'll see you next, see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.